Hey everyone, happy Friday. It's Sarah. <laughs> Got one more dog room today and then we're done for the weekend. Um, but I have a little bow here. Does he need a bow? Beaumont is his full name. Say hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. He's a Maltese, I believe. Full Maltese. Um, he might have poodle, I don't know. But he's so cute, little. And he's the one who in the past I've shaved down and given a mohawk. And the last time I um, colored the mohawk blue and his little pom-poms on his feet. Um, but they're all gone now. <laughs> he's been grown out. It's about four or five months. I don't know. I can't remember how long. I think it's been four months. But anyway, mom likes to give me free reign to do whatever I want with him. And, she, but she has wanted him to have like his face shaved down and have a mohawk. But after that, like anything else I want to do. So I was experimenting with color. Um, but today she's just like, whatever you want to do. So I think I'm just going to give him a cute little shorter haircut and puffy round face, fluffy face, cute little terrier round face. Um, but clean this all up. So he's going to get the works as well. So yeah, we'll get started. He's so long, this hair. So long, especially right here because that was his mohawk. <laughs> Look at you, you're so cute. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Alrighty, first things first. There he is, there he is. Just fixing my view here. Gonna do his feet and sanitary and check out his ears. I think they're not too, oh yeah, there's some hair in there. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. You gonna let me do your feet, Bo? You gonna let me do your feet, Bobo? Come here, you. Yeah, he's all, oh, it's been so long, he's all matted in there. Probably is sensitive and doesn't feel good, so we'll go this way. There we go. Got a lot going on in here, buddy. All done, cleaned up. He's usually pretty tolerant of me. Oh man, you know, it's like certain places though, like around his face and feet. I think that he's more, more sensitive, but he usually just let me do it for the most part. There go, good boy, good boy, good boy. Get this all cleaned up. Boy, it's okay. No, no, no. Shh. It's okay. Have you had enough of that? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Good boy. Gotta get it cleaned up. Gotta get it cleaned up. Okay. That's pretty good. Alright. Thank you. It's okay, buddy. It's alright. And let's clip your nails now. You're doing good. Good boy, Bo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got all kinds of junk in his feet. So long, huh? Are they so long? Let's put you this way. This way. Okay. He just keeps trying to reach back here. It's okay. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. Yeah, you're okay, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Bo. Yeah. I don't really remember his toenails being super long, but we will check it out. They're so tiny. There we go. It's okay. Shh. Yeah, you're okay. Does not want me to hold it. Good boy. We got two more left. Come on. It's okay. Shh. Good boy. Got two more left. I'm not making this easy, buddy. Nope. No, no, no. This way. This way. No, no. No, no, no. You're okay. You're okay, buddy. No, no. Okay. This way. Good boy. Good boy. Almost done. Nope, nope. One more. It's okay. No. Oh my goodness, Bo. 
Oh my goodness, do you need a break? Hmm? Do you need a break? Hmm? You know, usually you're tolerant of me. It's just been a while. Nope, stand up. You can't lay down, bud. Can't lay down, I'm sorry. You're okay. Uh, my daughter's dog has been here this morning and I was trying to give him a haircut before Bo came. And so when uh, when he came, he got to hang out with, with Owen for a little bit and play and all my other doggies. So he's been here for quite a while. Come on, dude. Let me do it, buddy. Come on, dude. You're okay. One more. One more foot. One more foot. Do you need to hold both your legs? <laughs> there we go. One more. One more. Let me do it. Okay, you guys sit there. That's fine. You can sit. Alright, it's this one right here. Good boy, Bo. Good boy, Bo. Yep, okay. That's really good. Good boy. Alright, guys. I'll be back once I've done all the feet and everything else and we're ready for the bath. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, we've got some pretty bad matting in here. I'm tempted to try to cut them out before the bath, but I'm not sure. I think it's all just going to have to come off and go short anyway. Because it's, yeah, there's one really bad one right here. Let me see if I can get it. It's not terrible. Most of his body is okay, but there's some... Pretty bad ones and we are gonna go like somewhat short not not like a 10 not like we did last time when we shaved him down and did the mohawk but um, there's some pretty bad ones in here so get those out plus the more hair I can clear away before the bath in certain areas uh, the cleaner that it will get so There's a couple in here. Feet and legs are pretty much the worst for matting. So it's typical to see, especially after so long. Yeah, there's one in here. That one's pretty close to the skin too. Let me see, buddy. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, it's probably going to have to go pretty short. Because I don't want to leave it too choppy. And I was hoping to leave his legs a little bit longer. But I don't think that's going to happen. You see your armpits? Yeah, there's some in your armpits too. You stand up, bud? Stand up, good boy. Let me see. I 
hate to just like go chopping in there, but I was hoping to leave some of that, but. That's okay. All right, try this one. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I can see what I'm doing, but you can't see what I'm doing. Just trying to cut through some of these in here. Chest and armpits and legs. Just a few mats, okay. See, buddy, I got your belly real good. There's quite a few in there. What's the other leg? Yeah, this. Oh, yeah, this is real bad. Oh man, just on one side, too, right here. Oh, butter. Well, hmm. I was gonna try and leave them a little bit longer and fluffy. I wasn't sure how bad it was, but this looks like it's down to the skin, I think. We're very, very close. I'm sorry, buddy. I know. Stand up. So maybe I can get my scissors if I just kind of go along right underneath them. I'm just gonna like cut through them. Without poking him. <laughs> Sorry, Betty. That way I don't um, cut into his skin at all. There's a really big one right there. Just taking little layers off. Sorry, you guys can't see that. It's just, um, let's see, this area right here. There's some pretty bad matting. So what I was doing was just kind of getting my scissors under it and cutting straight. I'm kind of cutting through them. There's more in here too. It's just all, all up against his skin there on his upper thigh. So I've been trying to like, I don't want it to look choppy, but I'm gonna get through. That's a pretty big one right there. So kind of cut this way. Go along the skin and cut out. See what I'm doing here? A couple more. They're like stuck in there, so I'm just gonna cut through them. They're starting to pull out a little bit. If I can get these mats kind of loosened up, um, I might be able to just brush through it and kind of save some of the length because I don't want to really, I don't want to just shave underneath them if I don't have to. But this kind of whole area right here is not, it's okay, buddy. You're doing good. You're doing good. Okay, I'm just kind of combing through with the scissors. See if I can get through. I don't want to hurt him. Dematting means like combing through and pulling and yanking on every single mat to try to um, untangle it. And that is just torture for dogs. That is no fun. I mean, even just me holding him, he's not enjoying. So can you imagine? Yes, buddy, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're doing really good though. Yeah. Cut out all this brown junk here, buzz inside his ears. And I got all this out. There was a whole bunch of um, mats all close up into his skin here, so I cut all those out. And this isn't a terrible area underneath to cut short, so I just went ahead and buzzed all that. 
Let's see how this is looking. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Well, we'll see if we can get him. What do you think, buddy? Let's see if we can get him in the bath and get some of those worked out. Yeah, you got some, some junk in your face, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. I think that's... I think that we can comb that out, though. Yeah, because I want to try and do a cute little round, cute little fluffy face on him. So the least hair I can take off, the better. I'm sorry, buddy. I, mean, I knew you were kind of tangly, but I wasn't sure how bad. Oh, yeah, this area down here. Hey, buddy. Not that anyone. No hair. All right. I think that's good. We're going to go ahead and get him in the bath. We'll see you soon. Okay. We got Bo in the bath here, and we're going to give him his two shampoos and two conditions, and I'm going to use a whitening shampoo, and then the Rainforest one, and I've got a moisturizing one, uh, Gentle Clean, and I'm going to use this for his face. Hey, shush. <laughs> it's okay. I've got some, some friends over, my son's friends, uh, and the ear wash, and we'll go ahead and get started with his bath. Look at your little face. You're so cute. Okay. Bobo here. He's uh he's just hanging out with me, chilling. Wrapped him up in the towel and snuggling him. I tried to he did not like his face being washed, and I tried to get the purple shampoo um on all these brown spots. But hi buddy. <laughs> hey, Rosie's got her little <clears throat> bodysuit on so she doesn't have to wear a cone. So I'm just a little bit worried about his mats. I tried to get most of them out, but then I thought the other ones that I didn't um, were a little bit farther away from the skin. There you go, buddy. And uh, I figured I'd probably just be able to cut them out because they weren't super tight. I cut out the super tight ones and the really, really big ones. And um, But he's still got like chunks of stuff. <laughs> I tried to get him out, but we'll blow them out. We'll, um, when we blow dry him, he'll... He'll get blow dry, uh, all this dirt and stuff will blow out, so. Yeah, I used, so I used several shampoos on him and a couple of conditioners, and I really tried to comb the conditioner through the hair. Um, I'm, so I could get the tangles out. I got some tangles out. I got a lot of them out, actually. 
Um, but I'm gonna spray them down with this pretty good, especially right in here. Um, and really try to comb some of that through. Like he's, yeah, he's really matted down in there, but they're not up against the skin. So we'll see what we can do. If we have to go short, we have to go short. And mom said, you know, it's okay. And also <laughs> I actually got her on the calendar before she left, but that's gonna be in, in the middle of April. So it'll be a few months. So, I'm gonna, so shorter is probably fine. Hold still, buddy. Yeah, you guys can see that, can't you? Hopefully. You can see these mats here. They got kind of isolated when they get wet. So they also tighten up, but I'm trying to not rough him up too much. Just like, you know, kind of go with the coat and just squeeze instead of, you know, rubbing him too much. That's the thing too, if you rub, you know, any friction makes the matting worse. So try and just squeeze. All right, buddy, I'm gonna get his happy hoodie and we'll go ahead and get started with the blow dry. See you guys soon. Okay guys, look at this fluffy guy. Oh, he's so fluffy. And I feel so bad for him. And I'm still trying to decide. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go pretty short. I mean, she tends to get him shaved all the way down to a 10, which is like a 16th of an inch or something like that. Um, his whole body, except for the mohawk. So she's used to having him pretty short. And with all the matting that I can't, I brushed, so a lot of it actually blew out with the blow dryer um, more than I thought would. And then I was able to brush even more out. Um, and I think, and then when I brushed more, uh, some of them loosened up to where I could just pull them right out. But I don't want to hurt this guy anymore. I didn't want to make him mad. He's already tolerating me so well. Um, didn't like the bath, didn't like the blow dry, didn't like the brush. <laughs> didn't like any of it. Didn't like me handling its feet or nails. Oh my goodness. Look at you, Bo. I think this is four, maybe four and a half months of grow out from being, like, literally being shaved. His whole face and everything being shaved down like a poodle, except for the mohawk. So, it's a lot of hair. It's that hair and it's a lot of time for matting. So, yeah, I don't know. This is gonna have to be pretty short. If I can get, if I can do, like I was thinking about doing three eighths. That's my plan, to do three eighths of an inch all over his body and then do like half inch or five eighths on his head and just kind of give him a round, cute little cut. His head and face are fine, they're not matted. So I can do whatever I want with that. But I think that his body's gonna have to go pretty short. 
and we'll see how it looks. See, like a lot of them are a good half inch or quarter inch away from the skin. So that's why I left these ones and didn't cut them out because I think I could get the buzzer under them, even with the comb. And if not, like maybe I'll just have to go shorter on the butt than the rest of the body. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? Oh, just giving you a little break here, just to chill out. His tail's pretty matted too. Hey, buddy. Well, I say we're like maybe two thirds of the way done. More than half, that's for sure, because we got all the other stuff done. We just gotta get the haircut done. What time is it? It's 2.30. So I think I've been working on him since like 12.45 maybe, close to one, probably close to one. So it's been an hour and a half, hour and a half, hour and 45 maybe. Um, so not too bad, although she was here at noon, but we didn't get started on him right away because I was doing the other doggy. Also, I noticed he has, I don't know if you can tell this, he has blue, like this light greenish blue still left <laughs> in some of his feet because um, I left him some palms last time. I left him like booties on his feet and I dyed his, I think I dyed his tail. Oh, well, I can't tell, maybe not. But I definitely dyed his mohawk and his booties, his little palms. So there's some dye left. I must have done that one really good. <laughs> and it was just a like paint on, and then you leave in, let it dry. Um, and then it just stains, basically. You don't wash it out or anything. In fact, washing kind of makes it fade. Um, and it was raining that day, so it kind of faded a little bit before it dried fully, but anyway. Hi, sweet boy. Hey, sweet boy. I really have worked him good, so <laughs> let him take a little break. Sorry if this is boring, but this is this is real life, and this is like, like I said before, I like to try to do comfort groom as much as I can, and this poor guy has not been comfortable this entire time, so I'm giving him a little a little break. He likes to lay down during haircuts when he's with me, and that's not very conducive to the groom process, but I'm just gonna let him have a little break here. He went pee a lot <laughs> when he got here and then for the next half hour that he was at my house, he went potty a lot. So I don't think he needs to go potty, but he just needs a little break. Don't you, buddy? Are you looking outside? Mm -hmm. Are you looking outside? You're so sweet. And his mom's just hanging out Today, she's not working, so we don't have to rush or anything. Good boy. Good boy, Bo. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah, we do. Tell me to give you a little break. Just got these little short ears because I had to shave them. Shaved everything down except for the middle of his head. <laughs> so I was hoping his ears would be a little longer. But so I think what I'm going to do is just give him, like, I'll have to buzz him pretty short. And then, yeah. And then I'll give him a cute little round head to match. And then the next time when she comes back in, we'll leave him a little bit longer. Okay.
little better. Well, we did it, buddy. I think we're done. Even. Okay, Bo, are you done? Are you ready to go home? You look very cute. You also look very sad. <laughs> Yes. Hey, buddy. All right, we'll get you a bandana, and then we will call it good. All right, buddy. Let's keep poking at him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can see some things here. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I'll quit poking. Poor guy. It's not going to be perfect. All right, guys. Let's put a cute little bandana on you. No hair dye today. This haircut took way too long. I just had a feeling. Okay, go outside. Outside. No, you have such a loud bark. Hey, no. They're really cute and they're sweet when they come in here to hang out with me, but boy, they think there's a threat. Hey, no. <laughs> I think there's a threat outside and boy, the deep barks come out. All right. And then he just lays down over there, like no big deal. Okay. Bo, you're cute. You're a trooper. I'm proud of you. Thank you guys for hanging in there and watching this video. I hope you like it. I'm sure I could have done better in a lot of spots, but your ear is weird. Yeah. All right. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>